what if I told you that addicts do recover and that I can prove it to you? Okay, so what I've done is I bought this trailer and turned it into a mobile podcast studio so that I can go and talk to addicts about addiction, about coming out of addiction, and about their daily struggles. Um, who am I to do this, man? Well, I'm somebody that just lost their best friend to a fentanyl overdose two weeks ago, if that makes me relevant to this situation. Um, so come in, let me show you a little bit of what I've done and how this is going to work, and I'll let you know a couple of the stories that are to come soon. So we only have the lights on here. Come on in, have a seat. This is this is the, the guest chair right here. That little noise in the background. Generator, yeah, man. Have a look around. Check it out. Let me turn these lights on so you can get a little better look. So everything is monkey themed, as you can see, because the name of the channel is Spank Monkeys. You know what I mean? I believe we're all savages. I believe we all go after whatever makes us feel the best. That's why we named the channel that. But this started out as a livable camper. There was a bathroom over here. There was a refrigerator. There was a bench. There was a sink and a stove and a microwave and a. All these wires hanging out of the ceiling, bro. It was crazy. Um, I gutted everything, tore everything out, started from scratch. The floor was rotted out. I had to replace the floor. I put down this nice floor. I put down this nice carpet and all this wainscoting, um, soundproofing on the ceiling. And then my daughter had the idea to wrap these benches in, in uh, stickers. I told her I wanted to take the couple stickers I had off and uh, paint them and she was like why don't we just put stickers on all of them so we spent about five hours together in here in the freezing cold with a heater running wrapping all those <laughs> and then i went on to start wrapping the shelves you know what i mean as i put the shelves in i was like i'm just going to do everything in stickers man it would be black and gray and stickers very cool and then this is the uh bee's nest that's a hornet's nest we found and i got a light up here with a radio and then there's a little speaker right there a little heater right here i have to get an air conditioner right now i got a generator running everything for the electric and battery powered lights but what i want to do next is i want to make this thing solar bro so i found a thing that will solarly charge this it's like 3600 kilowatts it should run everything i want for at least six to eight hours at a time that's my next step and the bathrooms i told you about so i want to make a little pooper out of a bucket and a pool noodle and i'm gonna use the handle to hold and that's what we're gonna do when we go to see ian bick in connecticut in march and i'm gonna be on gagnon so if you know who mark gagnon is he has a podcast right here on youtube called camp and then if you don't know who ian is or if you're here from the last ian podcast that i did welcome back i'm going back on ian on like the 28th i'm doing gagnon on the 29th and then i'm gonna hook up with chad marks on the 30th man so i got some banging shit coming not to mention what I've already done with people. So I got a chick, Erica, that's got five years clean. She just donated her liver, kidney, kidney. both. It was both, bro. She donated a little bit of both. She donated everything. Right, just because she's clean. And she said she does heal. That's an awesome story. Then I got Terry, whose daughter was murdered, bro. Like some psychopath stalker walked up to her daughter and freaking killed her, man. And her story is just traumatic as it can be. Then I got Dan who ate acid at four years old. Then I got Chris who flipped out on meth in jail for three days, locked down in a turtle suit tied to a chair. They thought he was never coming back. These are great stories, man. And these people are doing well. And I think that's important. I think that uh, they need to be heard. Like we're paying attention to people who have opinions and that's great. But what about the people that nobody shines a light on? So I want to point a finger directly at the people that have overcome these obstacles. Some of them lost their kids and got their kids back. You know, some of them are still working to get their kids. You know, some of them lost their children to murderers. Some of them lost a lot of friends to overdoses. You know what I mean? My freaking best friend just died of an overdose. It's like, it's terrible shit going on around here, man. And I want to capture those stories. Um, if you're asking who am I to do the podcast, my name is Jamie Foltz. I was locked up in federal prison for six years for robbing a pharmacy in 1998. Um, I got six years and 14 days door to door. I went in in 03. I came home in 09. I still fucked my life up after 09. Um, I haven't done perfect since then. So I know it's a struggle and that's what I want to learn. I learned something from every one of these. And I think that you can learn something too. I hope you'll tune into them. Over the next 30 days, I'll be launching one video every other day. It might be a boy. It might be a girl. She might be 60. They might be 20. So this goes to everybody. It's, it's for everybody. It doesn't matter your age. It doesn't matter if you've used drugs or not. I'm sure you know someone who has. I'm sure you know someone whose life has been destroyed by drugs. So I just want to shine a light on these people and hope that, uh, you know, it'll help to change 
some other's perspective on what to do around people that do drugs and sometimes it does feel hopeless but sometimes you just have to learn to deal with it until they're ready or something happens like happened to my best friend man and i don't want that to happen to anybody else so that's why i'm doing this i hope you'll support it drop a like hit me in the comments with anything you have if you've got questions for chad marks or questions for mark or questions for ian when i go to see them drop them in the comments i will write them down and ask those questions for you um other than that, man, share this video and help me get this thing started, man. And I appreciate you being here.